Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing great today. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about doing internship abroad. Maybe you know and maybe you don't, I don't know. But in 2010 I decided, no, not in 2010, I decided before that, but in 2010 I did an internship abroad in Scotland. And um, I just wanted to start a series where I would explain how I did it, how I got the money, how I, how I found my company where I work at, and um, yeah, basically just how to do an internship abroad. So the first time I wanted to go abroad was when I was in the 10th grade and I wanted to spend a semester abroad in the USA um, in a high school there. But I needed a scholarship for this because we didn't have the money. So I applied for I think two scholarships and in the end I didn't get any one so I couldn't go. The next time uh, it was possible for me to go abroad was after my Abitur which um, was like doing an au pair. But there was a misunderstanding, I already got the money, my parents, my parents thought um, they would have to pay any, everything so they asked me to search for a uni which I would like to go and I got a place at the uni so that was it. Um, then I knew I wanted to go abroad so I thought okay what's the next thing? The next thing would be spending a semester abroad studying but I was too late for that already. I asked in the beginning of the first semester um, how are the possibilities for spending some time abroad and they were like oh you're way too early um, ask next time uh, next semester so I went there again at the second semester and they're like oh you're way too late now for the fourth semester to go abroad that's already <laughs> this, this ship's been sailed so I was like oh my god okay the last thing I could do was um, getting an internship abroad in my uh, fifth semester there was the six months internship that we all had to do so I decided in my second semester I, I would do this. So <laughs> what, what I'm trying to tell you is be prepared. <laughs> be prepared in the long haul and really yeah, decide to go abroad very very early in your career, in your studying time. Yeah. So the first thing is decide very early that you want to go abroad. That's really important because if you don't have the time to prepare anything, uh, everything's will, everything will be too late. So it's like with me in the second semester, it's too late to, to study abroad. So the only possibility left was to have an internship abroad, which was great by the way, which was perfect. So yeah, first thing, deciding to go abroad very very important. Um, the second point is narrowing down where you want to go. So decide on which countries you want to look at. Do you want to, um, which, which languages would you like to learn? Would you want to learn English? Would you like to learn French? Would you like to learn Spanish? Or even Chinese? I don't know. So decide which countries you want to have a look at. So uh, very early on I knew I wanted to go um, to an English speaking country so I selected Great Britain, um, Ireland, USA, and I think I I also applied to um, in France for an internship in Paris, but in the end I decided against it because I didn't want to learn Spanish. I just uh, Spanish. I didn't want to learn French. Um, I wanted to learn English better, so I decided that I have a look at English-speaking countries, and then. The third step is to have a look at which companies are suitable for you. So which companies or organizations um, will have internships uh, that are interesting for you and for your studying. So uh, you can't just, I don't know, say you can't just have an internship at a photo photographer when you're studying gardening. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you just need to look at things and companies and organizations that are suitable for your studying um, subject. So yeah, um, I was studying library management back then. So I had a look at libraries, uh, unis, where they had a library in the uni. And I was also looking at, um, it's called, um, I think the, something with Goethe, 
<laughs> go to something, I don't know. Um, the go to something thing is something that's um, German speaking, um, a German speaking organization in uh, foreign countries. So they can go to the Goethe Institute, that's the word, Goethe Institute, and learn German, for instance. But you're also going to learn English or French or Japanese, wherever the Goethe Institute is. So um, that was the three companies or organizations that I had a look at. And then I narrowed down to cities where I wanted to go. So um, as I said, I applied at the Goethe Institute in Paris, but I also applied in Ireland. Uh, in Dublin at the Trinity College and I applied in Scotland at the National Library of Scotland. And um, yeah, I decided against the Goethe Institute in Paris because I didn't want to learn French. Um, Ireland was giving me a no because they weren't allowed to hire anybody from um, foreign countries, just um, Ireland, I Irish people, <laughs> just Irish people. Um, so I was very very happy when the National Library of Scotland said yes to me and to, to my internship and I could go there so I was very happy. So yeah, just um, narrowing down the country, looking at the companies or organizations, narrowing down the cities and which companies and organizations are there. And then the last thing to do is basically just have a look at the money resources. So. Where are your investors? How are you going to pay for it? Um, this is something I would like to talk in my next video. So if you're interested in this series, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you did have an internship abroad or spend a semester abroad or did anything in another country. And yeah, I would like to learn a lot about your experiences and maybe you want to see my experiences and maybe learn from it. I would love that. So see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.